In Spanish, of course, it means people. When the Spanish conquest occurred in 1598 and the early explorers moved up towards uh, the north of New Mexico, this is where they came upon um, uh, many Pueblo, what they termed Pueblo because of the dwellings. They were living in uh, adobe dwellings. Some were two-story, so they dubbed them Pueblos, and that's how we became known as Pueblos. Leona Atencio stops by the St. Vincent de Paul food pantry at the parish of San Juan Bautista on the Oque Owenge Pueblo in New Mexico. She struggles to make ends meet and is grateful for the groceries she receives. Wonderful, wonderful. I rely on them quite a bit. Whenever that I need their help, they're there for me. They are great, awesome. Leona's spirits have been buoyed by the outreach of the Vincentian community as she's grieved the death of her daughter and grandchild in a car accident. Stronger, stronger with their help, St. Vincent de Paul's help. And then she just offered me two rosaries, which was really heartwarming. Vincentian Nettie Allerid says she's blessed to be able to help neighbors like Leona. Oh, God. It's just a reward. It, it's... When you make a home visit and you, you visit with his people and you sit there with them and, and you come out and you thank God for what you have, but also for what you can do for them. And when you walk out the door and they give you a great big old hug and thank you and uh, it just makes your day. It just makes, there was a reason God put me there. Nancy Salazar turned to St. Vincent de Paul when she started raising her five grandchildren. Her husband wasn't working, then he got sick and spent time in the hospital. It's difficult to feed five children, growing children, and uh, these are my grandchildren that I raise, and they're big eaters. Nancy knew of St. Vincent de Paul for its thrift stores, where she buys clothing for her grandkids, and soon learned the society helps in other ways, too. I just happened to ask the lady there at St. Vincent de Paul, do they have a program for feeding families? you know, that in need. And she said, yes, ma'am. She said, we do through the churches here in the valley. Vincentians Elviria Aquino and Julia Hanneberger say the society is a natural fit in the O.K. Owenge Pueblo. St. Vincent de Paul just matches that whole aspect of community. So it was easy to recognize St. Vincent de Paul as a society to um, trust within the community because they acted as if as our community does, and we take care of each other. I think uh, Northern New Mexico in general, and in this Pueblo, there is a feeling of strong spirituality through our Catholic religion. <clears throat> and I feel that this is the place at St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, that's why it's here, because of the spirituality of the place. Vincentian John E. Bird grew up on this Pueblo as a child serving as an altar server during daily mass. Now a deacon and a Vincentian, he says this is a tight-knit community. Loving, first of all, uh, very concerned about each other, but most of all I think is they're very cultural. Uh, they're very concerned about keeping their culture alive and well. Vincentian Jimmy Gutierrez has been serving through the society since the early days of this conference's formation. Listening to their problems and for them to express it is a, a big uh, relief. And then suddenly they find themselves that somebody is listening and is concerned about them to actually come to their house to uh, listen to their problems and be willing to help out with whatever they can. The Conference of San Juan Bautista O.K. Owenge is a part of the fabric of this community. Pastor at this parish says he's not sure what the community would do without the caring hearts of the Vincentians. As much as one pastor would like to try to do it all himself, that pastor really can't do it all himself. And that's the wisdom that we learn in Scripture. Jesus chose 12 apostles. You know, he chose 12 and we're called to share our ministry with others as well. Father Trambley especially appreciates the home visit being an essential part of the Vincentian charism. Every person that's going out to do a home visit is another light of Christ in the community. And so there should be many people that are going forth to share this light of Christ in so many different ways. And, and St. Vincent de Paul is a valuable part of that ministry. 
and they are truly living out the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. The face of Christ, the suffering Christ, Christ is reaching out to us, telling us, here I am, I'm reaching out to you. Just hold my hand. Even sometimes when they bring a basket to somebody, that person might just want to talk for a little bit. You know, and how, how is that? Well, you know, you might be consoling the doubtful or consoling the sorrowful, you know, and, and counseling the doubtful. You might be uh, giving comfort to somebody who's mourning. You might be just that ear that, that a person needed in that moment. There's so many wonderful things that Vincentians do. Vincentians say they know they receive far more in return than they're ever able to give. I had no idea what I was getting into. And now I thank God every day that I did because it, it's so rewarding to help so many people in any way, in every way. The neighbors being served are grateful for their Vincentian friends. Prayer, I felt the prayer from the Lord above and from the St. Vincent of Paul. I feel like I'm loved, um, like a sense of relief every time I see them. It's like, um, just soothing. They're wonderful people.